Okay. Imagine you send someone a um, quotation and you still hear from them. What can you send them? Just send them a letter or call them up. I'm going to give you an example what you can send to them. And you can use the sentences or the things that I use in this letter when you call them up. So those things you can say. Do not read it literally, but just read it one time. When you call them up, um, you can use these things. So what you need to keep in mind is this is a situation where you um, you send someone a quotation. So you send someone a quotation, but you didn't hear from them. So you send it to someone. It can be a company or a person. Doesn't matter. You send it to someone, but you didn't hear from them. So question mark. Yeah. So we're going to write this letter down and see um, what we can say to them. Like with every template, we start with the signature. So you see, this is a signature. You can change it however you want, but I like to see where it's going. And then based on that, I will write the letter. Yeah, so you have a signature. And when you start, we have a subject because that's the first thing you need to fill in when you send an email, the subject. So, um, so we have the subject. So technically, this is your, your subject in your email. When you send the letter, always put the same name or the, the person's name in here, there. And then you're going to start your letter. Simple. Okay, I'm going to write the letter and then after that, we're going to talk about that. So technically, um, this is the letter, simple. There is a couple of tricks that you need to know about this letter. And I said at the beginning of the video, you can call them and use the sum of the sentence. But uh, think about it for a second. If you send someone a quotation, you didn't react. There can be a lot of things happening in their life or in their company that may delay this. So. That's something you need to keep in mind. Second, when you send this letter, be smart. Yeah. So let's read it and then we're going to give you some advice, some tips. It's been some time since we quote you on a product and services for your business. So I have one as favor to ask. Okay, that's reasonable. Yeah. So you're asking a favor yeah? and maybe they're giving you or not. It depends on your relationship with the person. But if you send them a quotation, most of the time they need to reconsider or they be like, hmm, I'm going to choose for something else. That's most time what people think. But most of the time those people, they have other things on their mind and your quotation is not their priority right now. Unless it's really their priority, they will keep pressuring, hey, can you send me the price list or anything. So if you have the feeling they are considering someone else you can say that's okay if you're considering another option or another product or service please give me a call before you sign any contract or issue a purchase order to another vendor simple right and when they call you you can talk about it okay what what are your issues uh what's the problem is the price is the time frame or the quality what are you missing most of the time people do not know what they're missing they are just on insecure what they need or not and they don't have the feeling that you're the correct person most of the time the people they say i need to have trust i don't have trust doesn't matter what you show them in that situation if someone say i don't have trust just go to another one the reason i'm saying that is because it doesn't matter what you do they are not going to trust you yeah if someone if if someone wants you um to uh, you you to earn their trust uh, keep in mind it's also the other way around you need to trust them it doesn't mean just because they pay you should trust them doesn't work like that 
yeah so keep that in mind and when you have the situation if you think they're gonna go to someone else there may be a problem with your product or services or there may be a problem with the price most time it's a problem with the price and the time keep that in mind but do not give discount so if you see here the the last sentence may indicate discount but it isn't discount we may be able to provide additional ideas to save money or enhance in ways that other vendors may not know about that it's not discount you understand what i'm saying is when you have a vendor or when you're selling things do not give discount you will say okay why not think about it for a second if someone come to you and you ask for the price they say for example it costs this much and they'll be like no i'm gonna look for somewhere else and then find a price they say it's gonna cost this much so technically you're trying to scare me you understand what i mean think about it first you say it's this price and then you go down so technically if i didn't say anything you wouldn't go down so you just want me to buy it from you when you give discount get something in return say this price is it if you want discount you need to give me something in return it's that simple when you do that people will get um i don't know how to call it but they will show you some respect okay you know what i'm not going to go for a discount i'm just paying this price that's something you need to know about that yeah so don't give discounts just be, because you can no, don't do that yeah just trade the discount for something else when you think from that perspective you will get much more done so here it may indicate that's a discount but it isn't yeah so and then at the end you can say thanks again for giving us the opportunity to quote it on your product or services so yeah and then you put the signature like i said this is a template you can adjust it however you want but when you call customer up ask them hey what's the problem yeah do you think it's expensive or if you think it's expensive you want discount what do you, what do i get in return just ask him that and then they're going to think twice about the discount because then they see the value of your product or services yeah so that's technically the letter. If you have a question or you want to know more tricks, what you can do is just go to martis.bo.link. When you arrive there, you will see Law Center. Join the Law Center. It's a discourse community. Then the community, you can ask questions and tricks all about these things. So if you like this video, like it. So you see, it's not that difficult. You just go down there. You press the like button. And after you press the like button, you're going to go to the subscribe section so the subscribe section where you see on the screen right now you press the subscribe button and then turn off notification bell on there you can see where i go online when i live stream these kind of things you can look into it and ask questions during the online stream so i hope you guys like this video like and subscribe see you in the next one